What up, what up? Wimbush here. And today I'm excited to show you guys how we can take a KMZ file and import it into Google Maps so that we can get the geological location. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. So for anybody that's followed any of my commercial work, I do a lot of map graphics and CG environmental builds for like History Channel, Discovery Channel, Science Channel, etc. And so there was a project that I was working on where the client actually gave me a KMZ file to show me the location where we're going to be working at. And I've never dealt with this before but I did a little bit of tinkering and I figured out how I could bring it into Google Maps so that I could get the exact location so that we could recreate that environment in CG. So to be able to do this, first you're going to need a Google account. So if you don't already have one, it's free to make one. And then from there, we're going to go to Google Maps, which I have right here. And you can see right here, it's just in a generic location. This isn't the location that I want. But to bring over the KMZ file, I'm actually going to come over to menu. And then I'm going to come down to here where it says your places. And then we have this menu here and all the way on the right where it says maps i'm just going to click this and then i'm going to create a new map give us a second to load up here and then we're going to have a map of the us i'm not sure if it shows up the same for everybody but if you notice here on the left hand side i don't need to title it you can if you want because you can always save this in your google account but right here where it says untitled layer we want to click on import, but if you hover over it, it will tell you that you can import a CSV file, spreadsheet, or a KLM, or in our case, we can also do a KMZ file. So I'm going to hit import and it's going to bring up this window here in which I could just drag it into here as well. So I'm actually going to go down to my windows explorer and inside this folder, I actually have a file. It's just called Wimbush Google Earth. This is actually the KMZ file that was sent to me by a client on a past project. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to click and drag it into this window here. It's going to upload, but once it's done, it should show us the geological location of where this information is at. Okay, so pulled in the information, you can see right here, it says Wimbush location. You can see that the screen is blank right now. That's because whenever you first do it, it's going to show you the default view, which has basically like the roads and stuff like that. It doesn't show the terrain, but if we want to see the terrain and all that, all we have to do is come over here where it says base map. And then you can see we have all these different type of views. So we have the map, the satellite, the terrain. So let's click on satellite. And then from here, like you can actually scroll back if you want to, to see where you are on the map. Or if you want to get the coordinates, you can left click on your pen there. It brings up our coordinates here in which you can actually just left click, select and copy. And then I'm going to make a new tab. I'm just going to type in Google here like so. And then I'm just going to paste in those coordinates and this will bring us back to Google Maps. And for whatever reason, like this Google map is different than whenever we make our own map here, but I did it this way. And let me actually move this in, click on layers. And this gives us all the information that we need. If we want to kind of go in here and take this information, bring it into a program like Dim Earth, or if you have like a GPS device that you want to get these locations for, this is exactly the way that you would do it. And so this is helpful for me because I can actually go into the terrain kind of get a feel for it. Or if I'm using something like Dim Earth, I could take these exact coordinates into Cinema 4D, drag them into Dim Earth, and I'll get like a good representation of what that terrain looks like. And I can start building my map out from there. So hopefully this helped you guys out. If you're like me and you do a lot of maps for TV shows and stuff like that, you'll be getting these files. And sometimes you won't know how to exactly import them to get the geological location. And since this was my first time getting this type of file, I figured I wanted to share it with you guys in case anybody else needs this information. And so if this did help you out and you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe leave me a big thumbs up tell all your friends about it leave me a comment down below and until next time stay fresh keep creating and i'll catch you guys in the next video i'll see you soon take care what up what up Wimbush here